We've looked at demand and then supply separately in order to understand their function. But of course, in the real world, buyers can't determine prices on their own and neither can sellers. They come together and negotiate in the market. We're now going to look at the market model, which will give us a more realistic understanding of how the economy works. The market model takes the two parties we've looked at so far, the buyers represented by the demand curve and the sellers represented by the supply curve, and puts them together. This model will show us how the interaction of the forces of supply and demand determine the equilibrium price of a product and the equilibrium quantity. So, we have another tool to help us understand how economies work. And this one will eventually be able to show us how those key economic questions, what to produce, how to produce, and for whom, are answered by markets.